Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So, uh, just a super quick video here today. I can't believe it, but Mary Barra and uh, Elon Musk were just on Twitter Spaces making a relatively brief, it didn't feel like the most natural thing in the world, but they made an announcement. The, the, the format doesn't matter that much, but GM is going to be doing like Ford uh, has decided to do, and they are going to uh, use Tesla superchargers, which is the le lesser of the big surprises. The bigger of the big surprises is they're going to be using the North American t uh, charging standard or NACS, or alternatively, what you might call the Tesla charger, <laughs> right? So Tesla opened that up to become a standard in the United States, of course, and they have explicitly said that they are going to work with um, with all of these companies to help them with APIs and for, you know, getting all of this stuff up and running. So it's not just the hardware, but also the software and all of the stuff that runs with that. I'm driving back from the hospital where my mom is staying right now. So just FYI, that's why I'm in traffic in, uh, in, in uh, Washington, DC, and I'm actually going to put it in full self-driving right now. So anyway, I was behind a bunch of traffic and I didn't have it in there yet. So uh, but anyway, this is this is a really big deal because Ford was a little less surprising uh, given the fact that, oh my goodness, Washington traffic. Woo! <laughs> I'll be here for a while. It's only two miles, but I have a feeling it's going to be a half an hour before I get to the exit I need to get to. Oh man, I hate Washington traffic. Anyway, uh, so it was less surprising that Ford would have chosen to say get in bed with Tesla about the North American charging standard but now that GM has said yes to this it's almost inevitable that North America at least the United States more than likely Canada and Mexico as well because they manufacture the cars they purchase the cars out of the same market will go that direction and this means that companies like Electrify America, ChargePoint, etc had better either create an adapter or start switching their cars over or I mean their chargers over or something I don't know because they're simply not going to be able to hang because nobody's going to have the CCS charging standard anymore um, obviously this will take a couple of years to play out but this is really fantastic news this is along the same lines of like the idea of having like electrical outlets and things. I'm waiting to see what the car does here because it needs to merge and it's coming up on the end of the merge lane and it's not doing it. So I'm going to see it's running out of merge. So, oh wow, okay. That was aggressive, but it worked. <laughs> no turn signal, it just shot right in. Uh, it's a it's a like really good Washington DC uh, driver. It, it's very assertive about getting around things. Anyway, um, the, the, it's, it's along the lines of like, if you had to have different shaped gas pumps, if you went to a mobile gas pump versus an Exxon versus a BP or something, and you had to know which one you were going to and which shaped hose you had to fit into the hole and things like that. So it's really, really good for the consumer. I'm super happy because I did a video a long time ago, and I'll, I'll link it at the end of this video, but I did a video a long time ago about the, um, I don't know why the car is going so slowly. That's weird. It's, it was set to 45 miles an hour, even though it's a 55 here. Anyway, that, that is odd. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that's all about, but, uh, the, the, the charging standard itself, the, um, is the better engineering solution. And I did a video, I was just saying that I did a video on that. I think it was about a year ago where I said that the better engineering standard should win out and that clearly the Tesla charging standard, which is now NACS, should be the one that should win. It's sort of like VHS versus Betamax. Somehow VHS ended up winning, even though it was by far the worst engineering standard. But now we've got a situation where we have, um, we have the better engineering standard winning out, which is wonderful. The, the, the supercharger, it, it charges faster, it operates really well, the back end works well, it should be very, very seamless for the consumer to use. It already is totally seamless for us Tesla users. But anyway, this is all a really, really positive news, very, very exciting for North America. Now the interesting thing will be Europe already, they kind of, they standardized too early, they made a mistake and they standard on standardized uh, on CCS2, if I remember it correctly. I can never remember which one is CCS1 and which one is CCS2, but one of them is in the US, the other one is in Europe. And uh, But anyway, it's, the, it's a big honking thing and it's ugly and it doesn't work well. And <clears throat> my feeling is that they standardized too early and what 
with a little bit of luck, fingers crossed, maybe they'll make a decision to go back and also standardize on this format as well. Again, Tesla makes nothing out of this. They open sourced all of this stuff. They made it into a standard. They don't collect any royalties or revenues or anything like that. Now, maybe working with the APIs and all of that kind of stuff they do, but as far as just the, the, the standard itself, it's just a standard. So it'd be like using USB. You don't have to pay anybody for that. They, that was open sourced by Intel, if I recall correctly. Um, I'm talking about the original USB-A form, but, um, but this is all like incredibly good news for at least North American consumers. I feel like to have, to have the proper and better engineering standard win out in a situation like this is kind of almost unheard of. <laughs> it's usually the worst one that wins and all of us consumers can complain about it. But I have seen, you know, there has been evidence of that. And, and certainly I think that Apple made a gigantic mistake with not open sourcing their lightning standard for their phone because that is the better engineering solution than USB-C for that type of connection. But they, by not doing that by keeping it proprietary, they forced everybody else to go USB-C, which is not as good of a standard, but it's fine. You know, it's, it's not perfect, but it's also fine. So, uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm really glad to see that Tesla did the right thing by creating a standard out of the North American charging standard, and also that the the manufacturers are beginning to fall in line for this. So I don't know who the next group would be. I don't know if that would be Stellantis since they have a big presence in the U.S. Uh, it, it should be a company like, I, it'll probably honestly, uh, here we go. I know who it's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be Hyundai or Kia that, or Hyundai slash Kia that's going to do that because they are the most forward thinking of the Far Eastern brands. And I was going to say it should be a Japanese car company like Toyota or something, but I don't foresee that because they just don't have that big of a presence in that space yet in the EV space. Now, when they eventually start do producing, um, like rolling out a large amount of cars, more than likely they'll go that direction too. If Herbert Deese was still in charge of Volkswagen, I would almost guarantee, in fact, they probably already would have been on board with the NACS, but given the fact that he's not, I'm not positive that they'll do that. But again, I think that for people operating, for companies operating in the United States, they're in a situation now where they really do have to consider strongly. Let's see if the car will do this. Oh, nice. Okay. That was a lot of traffic. I mean, it went in front of it and there was a lot of traffic. There was plenty of time to do it, but it wasn't, it wasn't a wuss. It did it well. So anyway, I, I am going to have to disengage here, however, because it does not slow down for these massive speed bumps properly enough. So unfortunately, um, I have, I've gone over it before and it's like, blah, blah, blah. it's like a big giant thing. But, but anyway, so, so we'll see if Volkswagen does it. They are definitely the, the you know, aside from Tesla and, uh, Hyundai Kia, I think that they're either second or third largest in the United States. So they should definitely fall behind very, very rapidly, unless of course it's a pride thing. And I had thought honestly that GM would have too much pride to do this and that they wouldn't do it, but maybe Ford forced their hand. Maybe Ford was like, Hey, GM started thinking like, uh Oh, if Ford is going to do this, we better do it too. Or else we're going to look like we're lame and behind the times. So anyway, uh, I know this was a little rambly, but of course it was just after I, I found out about this, like literally minutes ago. And also I'm just coming back from visiting my mom at the hospital. So again, thank you for all the good thoughts and good wishes and everything. And I will see everybody in the next one. In the meantime, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.